this session we're going to talk about how to create a CSV file from your TrackMate files. So you just go ahead and open any old TrackMate file. This one happens to be saved, but yours does not. It does not have to have any video associated with it yet. Uh, you just go up here, you open your file, and you click File, Export Data. And at this point you're going to be asked to give it a, a name. Give it that name. Click export. And it will go ahead and export that data for you. You can go ahead and select done here. And close out the Track Studio window. Uh, now you can see that in this folder we have the Atlanta.csv file that we created. And we go down here and open up Race Render. Race Render is a video overlay uh, program that allows you to put gauges and uh, put picture in picture and many, many, many other things. Uh, it comes with nice templates. We're going to select the data logger simple. And then it's going to ask us where our files are that we want to put together. Click Add Video. And we select our video. And then it's going to ask us what our data file is, which is in the same folder. If it wasn't for some reason, you could go find it here at the top, but it is. Click on that. Click OK. And now we're given different options for uh, gauges. These are just templates. You can actually create tons of custom gauges, but we're just going to go ahead and select this for now. Uh, change the speedometer here to 80. Go ahead and click OK. And at this point, the video and the data are synced up because we used a TrackMate sync. Uh, with this file. If you had a uh, video camera that was not synced with TrackMate, you could synchronize it here. Um, but since all our cameras are synced with the data, uh, it's really just open one file and open the other and you're good to go. Uh, at this point we can manipulate you know, what uh, different things we have on the screen. Uh, we can change the colors, the text, moves things around. Um, and uh, make any changes that we might want to do here. Exit this out here. And at this point, we can hit play, watch the video, or just go ahead and create the video here. Create video. The create video window will pop up. I'll be given different choices as far as quality. Uh, resolution, um, scaling, sound, things like that. And you can even connect it right to your YouTube channel so that you can uh, have it upload right to it as soon as you're done. Uh, we'll just go ahead and click Create Video. It will ask us uh, where we want to put that file. We'll just go ahead and hit Save. Overwrite this one here. And it will go ahead and pop up this window of video creation. Uh, you have different options here as well, but uh, because we use a TrackMate with the uh, video sync, all the data and video were already in sync, so it made it very easy. You just simply open your data file, export that CSV, open that and the video together, and then you can uh, do amazing video creation. You can add picture in picture for a second camera. Uh, you can link multiple video files together. Uh, and so much more, create custom gauges, uh, it's pretty much endless. But it's also the option of doing something fairly quick too. So that's it for this video, hope that helps, and we will see you next time.